I could bump it off, get seven, and then half the three. But then we need a shift left and a half. We'll take a risk. Shift left and half. We got it both. Okay. So let's shift this left. Drop that down. And then the half always rounds down. So 1.5 becomes one. This should lock it in as well. Bam. There you go. Full success. Hit him for 15. Un Alright, welcome to B-Man Place and Halloween might be over, but the spooks are gonna continue because today we're checking out the foretold Westmark Legacy. This is a story-driven card battler with, man, some gorgeous art, a very intriguing story, and some lovely voice acting. So, we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna try my best to show off what the game has to offer. thought my luck turning for the worse seems hereditary at this point hopefully summons issued by the lawyer won't take too long <laughs> lawyers wretched scoundrels but the more I think about it the more predictable it becomes being surprised was the last emotion I felt at the news. The one and only Westmark. A title I now bear. I guess it's my duty to survive now. No matter how distorted that burden may be. Sets the vibe, the mood for everything. Okay, so we have our map here. Let's see if we can check out anything. Inventory. This is our deck, which we'll get into later. Persona points. This is kind of like a small skill tree that they have going. We have mind, body, and soul. We'll also get into that more later on. Notebook. So this is the backstory right here. We got a Mr. Herbert Westmark here, gotten an invitation. We, Flanagan Brothers Law, have been trying to reach out to you due to an accident in Burmouth. Burmouth? I think you pronounced that Burmouth, right? Theodore is classified as deceased after being reported missing. You're the heir of the Westmark property and holdings. I would love to arrange a meeting at our firm to discuss the details of the arrangements and to sign the necessary papers. My deepest condolences and well wishes. Cecil Flanagan, Flanagan Brothers Law. So, we are actually on the way to see Cecil right here. When this letter arrived, I believed it to be a poor joke to rile me up, shove the recent death of my mother back into my face. I was right in some twisted way. On my father's side of the family, a nephew I never knew existed had disappeared and been declared dead. I had been named the heir of the Westmark fortune. God, you are so gloomy. <laughs> Grief is fine and all, but you didn't even know these people. Oh, Ambrose. I love this guy. Uh, Ambrose, not now. Fine, fine. Just wanted to help out. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose there is one good thing born from this tragedy. The family heirloom. Its safety is now my only priority. I've been with the Westmarks for generations, and holding knowledge acquired through dedicated research. Yes, and it would be helpful if you know how to interpret the damn thing. It's the book that got us into this situation. We are going to get a backstory later on as to who and what Ambrose is. Well, it doesn't help it being written in a dead language. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> I love Ambrose. Whoa there! Oh, for God's sake. This is the fifth time you've stopped. Do you really want to get paid the other half? Nah, not it, sir. Yeah, I need to relieve myself, if you don't mind. <clears throat> it won't take too long. Oh, not too long at all. It's happening. The copious drink's finally getting to the man. It's a wonder why the driver did not stop earlier to relieve himself. Or why I even took him up on the offer to guide me. Hiring a driver in mere desperation isn't a plan, but no one wanted to go near that town due to superstition, except for this bloke. Lucky us! We could have been sitting there enjoying the company of stinky old men with no life prospects instead. He should have been here by now. Oh, I bet he just tipped over and fell asleep in the mud somewhere. Ah! That sounds like trouble. Sounds serious indeed. Better go and see what that was. It's locked. You need to force it to open. There we go. So, this is going to be our first taste of combat. And the card mechanics, the card game is very interesting. It's very different and very interesting. It's going to seem basic at first, but it ramps up. You can at max hold five cards in your hand. Use the cards by click and dragging them onto a highlighted slot or card on the board. You get to draw new cards to your hand by locking slots on the bottom row. So, um, basically, you see these numbers here, 3, 8, and 4. These are the numbers that we are trying to add up to. So, let's see here. And then, it, if we do get them to lock up, you get them to lock up by getting the, the right number, right? So, if we get to lock up 4, it's going to activate... Um, the knife here, which does one damage. We're going to see it now. So, let's see here. Mm, so, we have eight here. We can simply... Mm, let's see, let's see. Let's combine. I mean, this is like a starting fight here. Every time you play a card, it normally counts as a turn. So, again, very different. The number under your equipped items says how many turns you have left before it uses your action. So that's another mechanic that's um very unique. The enemy shows how many turns they have left before they use their actions. The main objective is to lock in as many slots as you can in the bottom row by combining and manipulating the numbered focus cards on to the correct spot. This may sound easy, but but can become difficult as you need to stay alive and kill the enemy. So, we are one turn away from um from doing this action right here which is to uh, damage attack attack for one damage the lock the incantation is four turns away from shielding up for one so right now we have one slot locked in which will give it give us one damage so far and um i don't see a yeah, I don't see us locking in anything else anymore for only one turn. So we are just... Oh, let's see here. If we had two turns, we can shift this. Because you can shift this here. Push it, and then it's going to drop here. And then, nah. Yeah, but nothing's going to work here. So let's just show what I mean here. You can shift this, bump it. It's going to go to that slot. Locked in. It's going to do one damage. There you go. Okay, we have four over here. Um, okay, let me see this. Uh, yeah, this is going to bump it off and lock it in here. There you go. So we got four locked in. Mm, what do we have? Three. Mm, we can... Let's bump this. Going to drop down the... Okay, blocking. Cause the, okay, when locking in a slot... It is blocked. No cards will fall onto it and won't be manipulated by any cards from your hand. This creates countless of possibilities and strategies because it gives you control. Yeah. 
Oh, we're out of turns again. Okay, so there's another one damage, but I believe he has one shield now. Oh, okay, he's one turn away from um, getting a shield. So we have three here, so that's fine. Or we can just let. Okay, so here's gonna be the strategy here. We can lock down two slots here, from what I can see. The three is just simply gonna drop down, that's gonna lock in. The one is gonna drop down here, and so we're gonna need five, five more. But we can use our combined, combine four and one to lock this one, the six in. But, mm hmm, the problem is we need to play something and move things around. Ugh. So we need to move something here. Hmm. Hmm. One, five, six. I'm not sure if I can get this three to drop. I think I can later on. So let's... Ooh, but I cannot bump this. I need a shift left here. Let's try to redraw. Hmm. We got our... Hmm. That's not good. Or... Okay. I guess we, we have to, um... Let's see, minus one, four, five. Okay, I'm just gonna start bumping off here. So the three is gonna be locked in. He, the, the enemy has a shield now. Let's see if we can get... Nah, it doesn't look like we can get anything else. So we're gonna be attacking, but nothing is gonna happen here. Let's just do the, uh... I'm gonna do the half here. But no damage for now, unfortunately. Okay, now... Okay, We're, we can get him before anything, so... Let's... Bump this. There you go. Good. And then we just want to wait for the four to drop down here. We'll be attacking for two. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're, we're getting him. There it is. That was that was a very simple example of what combat is gonna be, but it's gonna be far from that. It's actually very um, it can get very difficult. So we got. A new weapon. This is a weapon here, the Shimmer Water Flask. We got healing and an identification kit. Okay. We can actually equip this um water flask here. Because our um what was it? The pocket knife only did one damage before. This will do five damage instead. So let's equip that. Mmm, yeah. Okay. Checkpoint. We got another identification kit, so let's go for the question mark here. I tread along this path for what feels like an eternity. Nothing but trees, rocks, and bushes lie ahead, with no town in sight. <coughs> oh. oh! Oh, my apologies. So sorry, I thought you were the wolf. That was too close for comfort. <sighs> Hunting a wolf, huh? Sorry. Arlington is the name. I'm just cleaning up these lands. Why are you out here? I don't seem the type to frolic in the dark. So this is a mechanic that I'm not sure about yet, how it works. But it says here 50% charisma. Right now... I don't see it anywhere here yet, but... Let's try it. Tell the truth. And it's a failure. Ooh, okay. You're right. Well, I'm guessing you are heading towards Bournemouth. You want some company? Refusal to that offer is foolish, so I nod. What is that book you are carrying around? You keep looking around and then glance back at that book. Uh, it's a family heirloom. Not much to say about it, I... Shh. 
he stretches out his hand to stop me while staring straight ahead with sharp eyes. A being in the shape of a man stands ahead, gazing at us from behind the mist. Stay quiet and go over there. I'll be right behind you. Herbert, this man. Are we sure he really means well? I am not really a human, so I wouldn't know anything about human interactions. But this person gives me the shivers. You gotta love Ambrose. <sighs> what about you? I turn around as a reflex. Guess I have a lot of residual adrenaline left to make me jump. But there is no one. The man has vanished. Not even footprints can reveal where he has gone. Oh, forget about him. Come on now, Herb. Let's move. <laughs> Herb. All right, so that one got us a persona point, and we need three in order to get one of these skills going. One thing I wish we could do, though, in this game is um, backtrack. But I guess it's... Uh -huh. Remember how we met? gonna say I guess it's also intentional that we can't backtrack here we go my first magical incantation it uh, didn't go as planned it's the bane of my existence I'm stuck around your neck because you made a mistake come now it was my first time that's no excuse you tried to help that nice lady what's her name Penelope Patricia. <laughs> Excuse me, Patricia. You exorcised me, but instead of sending me home, you attached me to you. A simple spelling mistake. I feel so abused. We will find a way to get you home. Kind of why I saved the transcript of the incantation. To be able to fix it. By the way, now that you have gotten some things, maybe you should equip the Shimmer Water Flask in the inventory so we are better prepared for whatever's lurking in the dark. Go ahead. I'll wait. Oh, we already did that. Shimmer Water Flask. Let's go. Whole Woods. It's gonna be a fight here. What are we going up against? Sometimes I wonder if all this happens for a reason. As if all this needs to occur in order for me to become a better man or whatever those wise men usually say. Judging from my observations, you should be wise at this age, but you have a hard time learning from your mistakes. Ah, shh. Hear that? You just want to get me quiet. I get it. I... No, no, no. The birds, the wind. It all stopped. Okay. We got a combat encounter. This is a corrupted rat man. Nine damage. So we gotta do damage quickly. We got three turns. Let's see how much we can get. Hmm... We got two shift rights, so... Mm, we can bump the two fours. To the right to get an eight. Mm, I wish there was something better though that we can do. But, four and four. We can combine this for five and four. This one is better here. Let's combine this. Mm. And then... Five... Mm, not enough, not enough. Three... We can bump the one. Six and then get a nine. Oh yeah, and then we can get four and three. Good. There you go. 
bump this one. And we have the uh, pull down, right? We have one more turn. We can get two lock ins that will give us 10 damage. Pull this down. There you go. Two lock ins, 10 damage. And, um. Wait, what happened to our turn there? That was a bit confusing. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm wondering if I can get the 8 locked in as well. I could do, I could bump it off. Get seven and then half the three. But then we need a shift left and a half. We'll take a risk. Shift left and half. We got it both. Okay. So let's shift this left. Drop that down. And then the half always rounds down. So 1.5 becomes one. This should lock it in as well. Bam. There you go. Full success. Hit him for 15. Unfortunately, we are still going to get hit for nine. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's bump this off. I'm gonna get two lock. Ouch. Okay. And then... Nothing really we need to do here, but... Uh, it's making us... We need to, um... We need to do an action, even though we don't need to, but do a redraw here. You can actually shift this also. Get a combination. There you go. Um. Ah, we're fine. We're fine. We're done. We're done. Let's just do whatever. Hit him for five. Oh, yeah. Good job, hub. Oh, wow. We got a lot. Lantern. A lantern to light, to light up hard to see places. Okay. Eight health for the hot tea. A first aid field kit that heals small wounds. It's a relic. Ooh. This is also a relic. A flask containing a blessed powdery substance. It gives us four shield. Ooh, okay. Two relics. Oh, wow. A first aid field kit that heals small wounds. I wonder what that means. Oh, we can only do one. That sucks. Okay, we'll go with the shield for now. Okay, back to the map. Bermuth. Peculiar name for a peculiar town. Minuscule signs of life. The odd footsteps in the drying mud and hints of chimney smoke still hanging in the air appear to fade away. It's as if the people of this town don't wish to be known. Or found. Rare glimpses of the townsfolk send shivers down my spine. A few of them look as if they were plucked out of a grave. All scrawny and pale looking. You better keep your distance from these people. They don't seem to be the friendly type. <laughs> Let's... We actually have a choice to go and rest. Mm. I'm gonna go and rest now. Unsurprisingly, there is only one establishment open this late at night. Getting a room shouldn't be very difficult when taking in the state of the building. Pale Horse Inn. It must have seen better days. But neither me nor Ambrose are deterred. Sleep is desperately needed if I want to keep my full wits about me. After all, first impressions are essential to lawyers. Oh man, that's a zombie. Good evening. I am in need of a room for the night. Do you have anything available? Well, I love the drawing though. A bleak expression is the response to my inquiry. No polite hello to a possible pain lodger. Instead, the man continues to give signs of disinterest, although his gaze never strays from me. Mm. Mm. 
not the chatty type. Uh. Oh, slap face. <laughs> A vacant stare back and no reaction. That was fun. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. He must hate his job dearly. What if we sign the ledger? Maybe I should have asked him about Bermuth instead. There. Herbert Westmark. But that was too fun, right? Mm. Thank you. Oh, we can still speak to him. Let's try it. Hmm. Might I have a word with the manager? Okay. One more time? Hmm. No. Okay, let's go and rest. Uh, what a night. After a hard back straining mattress and moaning neighbors, I can hardly believe the price for the room is worth the amount of sleep gained. You are nagging more than my father. My father? Ambrose, don't start now. It's too early for that. Hmm. Ooh, I think we have... How many do we have now? Just two, okay. And... Okay, I thought we had a choice there of going up or down. Okay. Can't go here. Let's go. The receptionist guided me through the hallways. I could tell a well-off lawyer works here, judging by the opulent decor. And that they could afford all this in a small town like Bournemouth is baffling. Look at this. Look at the, uh, the detail on this room. He seems to be very proper indeed. The receptionist told me to wait for Mr. Brooks in the office. So, here I am. Waiting. Let's have a look through the trash. I rummaged through letters and other random things in the bin. I hope to dig something up on this Cecil character. What I do find is a crumpled up paper with strange symbols. So I scribble it down for future reference. Alright, we have three now. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I've had a, quite a busy time lately. Welcome. Please, have a seat. Of all the humans in your world that you've shown me, this one takes the prize. <laughs> he looks like a chump and smells of garlic. Like I said, you gotta love Ambrose. You're a long way from home, Herbert. Care for a drink? I don't see why not. Yes, thank you. Herbert, remember your promise. We wouldn't want to go through what happened last year again. Uh, on second thought, I think I'll pass. So, you're here because you are the only living relative left on record. <clears throat> well, due to the circumstances we found ourselves at, the time has passed since the event of Theodore being declared deceased has created some problems for us here at the office. We are looking at four years of no contact. Excuse me, I don't really follow. Oh, well, Theodore, your nephew, was declared missing for quite some time after the incident with the estate because no body was found. Mm, what incident? Incident? <sighs> I suppose the letter didn't say anything about that, did it? Well, about four years ago, the estate was rumored to be dabbling in dark arts. I don't know much about you Westmarks, so I'm not the one to ask. Mm, interesting. So Theodore could still be alive out there? Eh, no one really knows, but feel free to look. It's not often missing people around here pop up. The estate is still part of the Westmark family, right? Eh, yes and no. It's a legal fine line at this point. Now that you're here, we could start the judicious process of retaking those grounds. So everything my family built is just rubble? Nothing survived? Hmm. The incident really did something to that place. 
Not much left there, I'm afraid. But legally, you are allowed to overtake the premises and take whatever original assets you find that belong to the Westmarks. I recommend you go see it for yourself. Livable? Livable? <laughs> I haven't seen the place for myself. People say it's basically a large crater. Not many ventures that far east. They say the forest there is haunted. Maybe we should cut our losses and head home. <laughs> but what if there are clues as to what happened? Besides, I didn't travel this far for nothing. Right, I am growing older by the minute. What are we talking about here? Is it money? Do I get the estate? Yes and no. I suggest once you sign the deed to go to the estate and have a look at what you want to do with the place. Any monetary gains left by the Westmarks here have been sorted by the bank, uh, loans and whatnot. I took a small commission for writing up the deed, and so the remaining fortune is at twenty dollars. The sleazy bastard tells me those numbers with a condescending tone and a smile I would like to crush barehanded. The travel expenses alone were more than that. I tell myself not to make a scene and just sign the darn papers. Ah, there we go. You can keep the pen. Oh, pleasure doing business with you. And if you have any questions, you can always come back to me. He seems quite nice. <laughs> we should check out that estate. Maybe we will find some answers as to what happened to your family and get some closure. Right? Right. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Could you check on George by the lighthouse? He owes me a visit, but I haven't heard back from him in quite a while. By the lighthouse, okay. Oh, I don't know. There's barely anyone left in town to ask for help. You see, they will lose everything they own if they don't contact me soon. <laughs> I slowly nod my head in disbelief that I'm taking on a request when I've just been bamboozled out of a fortune. Bamboozled. We've been bamboozled, all right. All right. Forwards, we move. Oh, yeah, we have our, um, what is it? We have the persona points. We have our choice of mind plus one redraw. The number of times you can redraw. Stack two times the lock value in a slot to add the same value as damage. Hmm. A focus card that gives you, you life will be added to the board. Gives you life. Okay. Um. Let's try the uh, the redraw here. Okay. Mm, he did ask for a favor to go down by the lighthouse, right? I do want to check out what's going on here first. Okay, so we got crows, enemy type body. Attack rate is every two turns. And then, can we still get out? I don't think we can, huh? Okay. We have to fight the crows then. I thought we could just take a look for a while and then choose our path. Alright, crows, let's go. Got four and a three here. Six damage after two turns. We can do this. We can do minus one alteration on the four. We can get the two as well. Mm. Mm hmm. Can get ten damage on them. At the very least. Okay. Let's. Bump this off. Ooh, wait a minute. Mm. Do we have combine? We don't have combine. So we can do three. Oh boy. We can bump this off. Yeah, this is the better play here. We'll bump this off. Mm-hmm. And do a minus one on the four. So now at least we can get two lock-ins. Yeah, let's do that. And hopefully we can draw another minus one to, to for the three over here. Let's go. Two 
two damage only because we have the uh, the relic that gives us four shield. Um, where are we? We can lock this in. Right? We can lock this in. Yeah, we can actually get three lock-ins if we draw a minus one and we did. Okay, good. Good. Hmm, that's something I don't get. How come we are... Oh, interesting. Okay. We have two more turns. We need 11. Oh, she's. This is one. Oh, wow. We can actually get 11 here. Right? If this drops down, it's going to be three and then combine five and three for eight. Mm, let's hope we can draw, though. No, we do. We have combine. Ooh, okay. Four lock-ins. Let's go. Another six, though. Here we go. Combine. Oh, no, 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 no. This one is going to combine as well with this one. So it's going to be 12. Oh, that sucks. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Only three lock-ins, huh? What happens if you combine over here? Ah, it's not gonna matter. Okay. Got it. At least we did 15 damage. That's not too bad. Man, we're gonna get hit for 7 again? Jeez. Oh, uh, we can get two lock-ins here. Minus one in this. Good. We only need one more and we can get out of this fight. I hope, but they're only gonna do two turns. Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. Redraw, get a minus one. Oh my goodness, seriously? Okay, we can just bump, bump this off then. Okay, we're good. But they're gonna attack first, so we're gonna get hit for another two. A good, good thing we have the shields, though. Okay. Not gonna matter at this point. Or should I try doing another lock in here? <laughs> you never know. Let's try it. Ouch. This is... Oh, yeah. I think. We need a three, though. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Okay. Oh, well. We're still going to get the uh, these crows here. 15 damage. Let's go. Ambrose. No loot? Oh, man. Oh, here we go. We have another lantern, a summoning bell. The lock-in goal is another thing that I don't know yet how it works. We have consume. Ooh, okay. Nice. We can fully heal. Okay. Six damage and shields. Let's equip that one. The thing is here... This might, the, uh, the bell might automatically seem like the better weapon against the, uh, the Shimmer Water Flask because it gives us shield and damage as opposed to just giving us 5 damage. But, um, the way I understand it is that, um, there's a, there's an attack rate. So I think that the attack rate of the, uh, the Shimmer Water Flask is only 3 turns while this is at 5 turns or something. I don't know. We'll check later. But my point is, it takes longer until this attacks, so, you know. Um, I think I want to heal here. How much medical supplies did we get? Just one for 20? I think I'm going to use that right now. Because we still have the T, right? Yeah, let's use it. Mm, and then back to the map. Checkpoint. This is a... What was this again? Hello. Oh yeah, the merchant. So cool. Who might you be? Not too many travelers in these parts. 
I alone? Let's be honest. I knew that. It's that friend of yours. Never able to leave him I. Does he see me? <laughs> Impressive. Hey, what are you doing here? I love the candidness. Ah, come closer, friend. I won't bite. I am a humble trader, trying to make ends meet. For the right of coin, I will let you purchase a card of mine. Wish to trade? Of course. Face suspension for 10. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. So we have a new card, face suspension. So we can't see what it does, but um it um it suspends um movement of the turns for like I think two turns. It gives us actions for two turns. We'll find out later. Mm, the thing I wanted I'm curious is if I should use the field kit here. Heal small wounds. That's very interesting. You can only choose one though. Hmm. Okay, let's move to combat here. A butcher. Oh man, should I have not healed yet? Attack rate 4, 40 HP. Let's go. So we get a choice here at the start which weapon we want to choose. We have both equipped. Let's go for the summoning bell here. It has an attack rate of 4, so it takes 4 turns. Okay. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we can get here. 4. You have a shift left. 4, 5. Okay, let's shift this one left. So these can just fall down here and we'll be fine. Mmm. Five will go down to two. Six. Mmm. These are fine here. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Nine. We can combine this for nine. Have it drop down. Divided by two. It's going to go down to four and then three, right? Right. Let's combine this. Mm hmm. Two more turns. And then it's gonna go. Yeah, and we can also have this. Ooh, but we only have one alteration. Let's see. Half this. Seven, right? Okay, good. Mmm. Oh man, 15? Jeez. Ooh. Mm. Okay, let's try to get another half here. I mean, this is the only thing I can think of here. Mm. 12 damage for us now. We need 5. Here we go. We can combine. We don't have a combine. Oh my goodness. Minus 1 though. Okay. Man, we need a combine here. Okay. Minus 1. Three lock-ins. We need three. Ooh, we're actually going to get it. We are actually going to get this one. Good. Okay, good. So let's just do a simple half here. Full success. Let's go. 24 damage. And nine shields remaining. That is amazing. That was amazing. Okay. Okay. We got 9 shields. Let me get that. Because he hit us for 16, right? 16, but we have 9 left over. That means he only hit us for... Oh, whatever. Okay. Summoning bell again, then. <laughs> oh, no. He hasn't attacked yet. Okay. 
But we have nine shields, though. That is the good news. Okay. We have to get this guy. We have to get this guy. Hmm. We have a combine. Okay, I see a combine here, and then we can push it here. Combine these two. Minus six. Okay. Four more turns until he ta attacks again. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Can shift this here, get a lock in here. That's only one though. Can have this drop down here. Let's shift you. Okay, six damage. And then... You can only do 12 damage on him, huh? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, this is like the best play I can get. Oh, what happened there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Halving this will give us two. That's not good. Man, we need one more. We need one more. We need one more. We have four shields. He has no incoming action. Okay, I just realized that. He has no incoming action. Mmm, we shift this here. Okay, let's redraw. Okay, we get a phase suspension. Uh, let's see here. I can combine the six. No, it's still not gonna work. Unless I'm able to redraw. Okay, let's try this. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Base suspension. Let's see if I'm gonna draw. I am. Um. Five and four is. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Push this here. Or. What a puzzle. What a puzzle. Six. Four. Hmm. I'm gonna try combining here. So that's six. Nah, nah. What am I doing? Push. Do we draw another one? We don't. Okay. He's not doing anything anymore, so let's get the Shimmer Water Flask now, because this attacks faster, yeah. Because we want to get- we want to get to attack him faster, which it looks like we are going to. Okay. Hmm. We can let the one drop. Six, ten, twelve. There's actually a twelve here. Shift left, huh? Okay, fine. I can shift you left, that's fine with me. Let the six drop down. Okay. That pretty much it's pretty much it. We got him, we got him, we got him. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um Okay, we got the butcher. Good job. 
Good job, Herb. What do we get? What do we get? Nice. Okay. We got more consumables. Good. So, I don't think... I don't know if we're going to get the rest. So, let's do the um, the T for eight. Okay. I am so curious about the, uh, the relic here. The field kit. Let's go. A dusty and claustrophobic feeling creeps over me as I enter the silent hall. The place seems well stocked with literature for such a small town. Who knows what knowledge might be hiding here. Mm, you humans and the desire to scribble thoughts down, I will never understand. Let's search the bookshelves. All books sit neatly stacked on the dusty shelves in an organized mess only the librarian could decipher. I stumble upon a strange contraption with symbols built into the bookshelf. I think I can use this note to crack the code. Nice. The note we got earlier from Cecil's office, the lawyer. Mm, it's a wagon lock. I don't think we're going to need shields for this one. Or six. Or six. And then... Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I could just shift this here. That's a four. Mm. You let the one drop down. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eight, twelve. Mm. Man. <laughs> I don't like this. None of these are good for me right now. None of these moves are good right now. Let's try this face suspension. Let's see what's going to happen. Like I said, none of these are good. Try to bump you. Bump you again. Oh, snap. I bumped the wrong one. We're lucky right there. Um, Okay. We got a five here. It's going to give us... Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, hello. Hello there. Good. Seven. Could we manage a seven in one turn? No, we can't. Not a seven. A nine. Man, the math is so good. <laughs> okay. Aha. There we go. Ah. The dusty notes and old wrinkled documents are lying hidden in this secret compartment. Mm, you humans and the desire to scribble thoughts down, I will never understand. Pedestal. A dusty relic, which must be older than the town itself, rests upon a large pedestal at the far edge of the library. Nestled in the shadows, and seemingly unimportant. Lit, but still hardly legible due to its no doubt old age. I lean in to take a closer peek. It's lit. So this is what you use the uh, identification kits for. As I approach this tome, a feeling of insignificance overwhelms me. The papers are so thin that they almost crumble between my fingers. But uh, the scribbles on them appear otherworldly. It's hard to describe. Seems similar to my own family heirloom. Better I write this down for reference. Mm, you humans and the desire to <laughs> scribble thoughts down, I will never understand. A lady sits at the top of a ladder with books between her arms and legs while digging her face deep into a historical textbook. I want to make contact, but hesitation grabs me for a moment. Mm. <clears throat> oh, he already cleared his throat. Let's stare. I want to see what she's, how she's going to react with a stare. 
Effective staring, there, <laughs> my friend. Can we go now? Oh dear, didn't see you there, I'm afraid. Uh, say, you wouldn't have any historical records regarding the Westmark family? Well, certainly. I believe it's in the row further's back. Come, I'll show you. She stops near a bookshelf, and her face frowns as she shuffles through the shelf, seeming a bit perplexed. That's not right. There looks to be volumes missing. The information you were looking for is not here, I'm afraid. Hmm. Who checked it out last? Do you see who checked the information last? I just have a last name jotted down. Craven. Does not say any more than that. Thanks for the help. Oh, that's it? Oh, Make here we go. You humans and the desire to scribble thoughts down. I will never understand. Okay, Ambrose. Back to the pedestal. A dusty relic, which must lit, but still hot. Mm, you humans and the... Don't think there's much else we can do here, Ambrose. Oh, wait up. Okay. I did go through the records and no one has checked that section for years. Though there is a possibility of someone coming in and just taking it. We don't hold guards at the door or anything like that. So smuggling things out really isn't a challenge. Okay, so I actually um, played through this part before already and then... It shows that your conversation choices kind of it changes how the story. That's odd. Why would anyone take a thing like that? It changes where the uh, the story, or at least where the uh, the conversations go. But from what I remember, it kind of changes where the story goes. Cause um, I, I played with what I played before. We had something to do with the book over here. We we talked about it, the librarian. I don't know. I apologize for the inconvenience. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah. We had a conversation about the book, the details in the book, and then the uh the stuff here, the symbols. No, not the symbols. Here, the order of midland. I b if I'm not mistaken. So okay, that's very interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's keep moving. Checkpoint. Got a fight here. Hmm. I think uh, we're well equipped, right? As much as we can be corrupted devotee. I've fought this guy several times already and never had the chance to beat him yet. And, um. But this is like the best shape I've been in 50 health. Let's go. Because he keeps attacking. Look at this. Attack rate of 2. Are you kidding me? Hmm. 4, 8, combine. Hmm. This is the part I don't like here. See, we can get an automatic lock in here with 3. And then you can see a 10 coming up here. We can let the 2 drop and then combine the two fours, But... Since we have to do an action now and move one of these things around, it prevents us from, you know... Okay, but I see another combination anyway, so okay, fine, 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 fine. We can do this. Right? And then... We can combine these two. Ouch. And then we can move this one. Mm. Well, wow, we got three rights. Um, would have been nice to do a full success here, but we're not gonna get it. But oh well. Oh. Ouch. Wow, another 12? Jeez, like I said, I don't know how to beat this guy. Maybe I should go for the uh, water flask here? I don't know. Because he's going to take two turns again to damage us big. Mm. 
5 damage for 4. 20 damage. No, oh, I'm gonna go with a summon bell here. See, he's gonna get hit, hit us for 10 again. That's crazy. Hmm. Let's see here. We have the face suspension, so we can pop this. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Five, six, seven. We need to do as much damage as we can, as fast as possible. We can do phase suspension. Move this to the left, to the right. Let the one drop. Okay, let's try this. I hope this works. Phase suspension. Um, what do we do? Move this to the left. Hmm. Three, four. Yeah, move this to the left as well. Uh huh. Three, five. Okay, we can get three lock ins. That's the good news. Right? No! No, 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 no. This is just one lock in. One, three, five. Uh huh. We need. Oh, she's. One. We get two lock ins. This is gonna be five and then a minus one, seven. Two lock ins will just give us 12 damage. That's not good. Hmm. Four, five. Okay, we can do a pull down here. Um. Okay, we bought some time there. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Could go a minus one here. Yeah, I think the, the it's only um we can I, I, we can either combine for eight or uh, do the minus one. Eh, it's the only thing we can do. Oh, we get another turn. Okay. We can. Still get this. We still have our redraw. Wow, 13 damage. I just saw it now. She's Louise. Hmm. Come on, give me a shift right here. There you go. Man, I don't know how we're gonna survive. We need a We have this. Nah, it's still not gonna work even if we have this. Four plus another four is gonna give us eight, so no. Okay. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Eighteen and one shield. Gonna attack us again. Um. Let's try the flask. For nine, so we're gonna get hit for four. Which means we need to get him quickly. Six. Three, five. Mm. Four, 
five damage. Man, I don't... Nah, nah, we're not gonna beat this guy. Mm. Five. Then we let this drop down. Three. Mm. Okay. Six. Yeah, I know. Nine. Okay, that's gonna make us survive a bit. Four. Half. Hmm. Okay, I see something here. Let's shift you. That's one. Mm. Hmm. Seven. Ah, nah. Three, six, eight. Ooh, pull down modifier. Here we go. There you go. Um. We got two. In two turns, he's gonna kill us. Combine. Do we have a combine? We do. Here we go. Full success. Oh man, he's down to four. Come on. This is our only chance. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, do we have the shield though? If we have the shield, we have one HP left, and we can possibly beat this guy. Shift you. Come on, tell me we have the shields, right? Tell me we have the shields. Wait, what? No. Five divided by two gonna be good um what was I thinking here six four oh I don't know what I was thinking there <laughs> oh okay now I see it okay okay half this there you go Give me sh no shields? Ah. Come on, man. Okay, but well, that was the closest I've gotten to beating that guy. We were within one turn, I think. But I think that was able to show what the game is all about. Go check out their demo. It is still up on the Steam page. And I think they're about to launch their Kickstarter soon. So check that out as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Please leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.